Yo guys, what's up? It's me, Robert again, and it's been a uh, it's been a while since my last video, and I decided to make this video vlog because, well, um, a few things have happened since I uh since my last video. Actually, quite a few things have happened, but I'm going to talk about that later. What I want to show you now, though, is that. I went to the uh, eye doctors. I went to the eye doctors um, about um, uh, around a week ago, and um, well, I had my eyes checked, and the bad news is, is that my vision is really, really, really bad. It's like it's like twenty two hundred or something like that. It's not good. But, well, the thing is, is that my vision up close, when I'm, like, reading, reading things, like, right in front of my face, my vision is really good up close. I'm nearsighted. But stuff that's far away is blurry and hard to read, so. So, and also I have night blindness, so that's not very good. So, I got my very own... Prescription glasses. <laughs> yeah. Now I look so intel intellectual and intelligent and smart and stuff. Well, I'm not all that smart, so. Anyways, I got glasses. But, hmm. Well, actually, I consider this to be a good thing because now I can actually see stuff far away. I can actually read the, you know, street signs when I'm driving. It's not very safe to drive without my glasses because, eh, well, my vision is really, really bad. And I didn't know how bad my vision was until I actually got glasses and saw, you know, the difference. Anyways, so, eh. but it's not all good news. <sighs> There's been some bad stuff happening. Not to me, but to my older brother. My older brother, um, I don't really know, I don't really know the full story, but I guess, like, some punks were trying to steal my, uh, brother's bike, or somebody's bike, I don't know, and he, uh, stopped them and called the cops on them, but then they, uh, got away, and my brother was about to get into a fight with them, too. And so then, a couple of nights ago, or, well, actually, I think it was just, like, two, I think it was just two nights ago, what happened was, um, the punks, I guess they must have followed my brother, or they tracked down where he lived, and then during the night time, they broke the back window to his car and stole his bike out of his car. And now, this may not seem too serious, but his bicycle, he put so much money into that thing. His bike, if it was sold, it, it, it would probably cost around $1,200 or something like that. So, yeah. Some really bad stuff is happening to him right now. But, other than that, everything's good. And, best news of all, I finally found a way to finally start making LPs. Unfortunately, I need $40, which I don't have. Um, so, yeah, I'm still looking for a job, unfortunately. Uh, let me just tell you, this is... It's ridiculous how bad the economy is. I mean, I go down to Target to try and fill out an application there. I look at all of their positions, and all of them are um, unavailable. There's no jobs available at Target. Um, and then I, I've i also checked out tons of other places. <sighs> I'm thinking the only thing I can do now is just go down to one of the uh, malls in Las Vegas and look around for a job because unlike unlike when you're just walking around the streets you know going to stores and stuff 
they don't have a, you know, hiring, uh, they don't even have a sign that says, oh, we're hiring, but in the mall they do, in the mall they have signs in the windows saying, we're hiring and stuff like that, so that's why I like to job hunt in the mall rather than job hunt around my neighborhood, although around my neighborhood we have a lot of general stores, so that's a good thing, but then at the same time, uh, they have no open job position, so. <sighs> this vlog must seem really, really boring to you guys. <sighs> I can't wait until I buy the actual um, device that, I'm, that I want to buy so that I can start making LPs. That way my channel might actually start getting some views and actually be interesting. Well, I don't really care about views or likes or dislikes or whatever. The only thing I really care about is just, you know, doing something to entertain you guys and myself and have fun and just, you know, be human. Well, I barely ever get out of the house and I don't really all ha I don't really have all that um many friends. Well, I do have friends, of course, Dutch, but like all my friends, now that we've gotten out of school, they've kind of lost contact with each other, and like, um, and like, they live, it, like, they all live, like, far away from me, and funny enough, all of my friends are either poor, or they don't have a ride, or both. So, yeah, that's a, and that's a, problem when you're trying to go and hang out or whatever so out of all my high school friends I'm like the only one who has his driver's license well I'm not I'm not in high school anymore I graduated I got my diploma the uh the uh um what's the name of those tests called uh, not the SATs but the uh um Jeez, I can't remember what the tests are called. Oh well, whatever. Anyways, the tests that you have to take to graduate, um, I passed those easily. Those were, those tests were a joke. Those tests were so easy, like, I didn't even have to, like, study or anything like that. But then on the other hand, there was, like, a couple of kids in my class who, you know, failed the tests. And, like... There was one kid who took the uh, um, writing test like three or four times and he failed all of them and wow, it was just ridiculous. But um, the school I went to was a charter school so it wasn't really under, you know, the uh, um, school system. It wasn't under the superintendent of Las Vegas. So that was nice. And... I went to the school the first year it opened up, and when I went to that school, I was in like the seventh grade, and let me tell you, my first year at that school was just awesome. Well, I didn't really, I didn't really learn a lot because, well, they didn't have really many teachers, or very good teachers for that matter, and they only had like one or two security guards, but the security guards were really cool. They were really, you know, cool. And the school was really small, and it was very, like, family-like. It was more of a social school where everybody knew everybody, and it was just really fun. We would just go into class, and we would hang out and, you know, um, talk and mess around and play games and stuff like that. So the first year was great. The second year was okay. And then it started getting worse and worse and worse every single year. Now it's really, really, really bad. And my last year, my senior class only had like around 20 or 20 or 30, between 20 or, between 20 and 30 students. Three students dropped out, three students dropped out, and um, only like half the class graduated, so only like, I don't know. 15, 16, maybe 17, maybe even 18 kids graduated in all. That's, that's ridiculous. That's, 
such a small amount. Anyways, but my class was very unique. We had lots of, you know, unique kids in our class. There was Joe, who was, who was the, who, he was my friend. He is a giant black guy, like, humongous, and he, uh, um, he's now a professional fighter. Well, you might not really know him because he just, you know, debuted a little while ago, and he won his debut fight, and Joe's a heavyweight, and he, uh, he's had martial arts training, and I would used to spar with him, of course, I would get my ass kicked sometimes, and the only times I did beat him would be because I would, like, su submit him, I would get him in submission holds, but he's better at me at submission holds now, so, yeah. And plus, I've been out of practice and out of training, so I would never win against him now, because, I mean, he fights for a living, so of course he would be a better fighter than me now. And then, um, my friend Danny, I had a friend, my friend Danny, who, uh, well, Danny is, uh, he's a vocalist for, uh, well, he's just a vocalist, um, so he, he, uh, sings songs and stuff like that, but, like, uh, he used to be in a band, but then he kind of quit, kind of got kicked out, sort of, and, well, yeah, um, so, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with him, I don't know if he's found a new band or not, and also, he owes me lots of stuff, like, $32, and Yeeg's Reunion, and Final Fantasy X, and, and, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if he borrowed my golden son or not, um, I don't know if he has one of my Pokemon games or not, I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if he owes me anything else, but, yeah, anyways, but besides that, um, there was also Aaron, who is the cool, uh, tan Asian kid, who was good at break dancing? He was he was really cool. Um, he was also get, good at giving massages. And let's see who else who else was unique. Oh, there, there was um, uh, there was lots of there was lots of different kids. Uh, one kid in my class is like trying to become a male model and stuff like that. Uh. The girls, eh, there's not really much I could say about the girls in our class, because, well, we had lots of, um, really loud girls in our class. Hey. So, um, I'm gonna just, like, just dump that subject. I'm just gonna trash that subject for now. Um, now, since I'm almost, um, out of time here, I'm gonna just ask you guys something, if anybody actually watches this video to the end, that is, if anybody actually watches this video to the end, which I highly doubt they would do, because I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't watch a guy just, you know, talking all boring like throughout an entire video anyways so if anybody watches this video to the end and hears me say this please if you have any suggestions for me to do my first LP for what to do my first LP for just go right ahead and make any suggestions my game systems are PS2 um, um, a PlayStation 1, but you could play PlayStation 1 games on PS2, so. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games, you could su suggest those. I have a Nintendo DS, a Game Boy Color, and a um, PSP, although I don't think I can make LPs for a uh, DS. I can't make an LP for um, Game Boy DS, Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy Color games, or PSP games, because I don't know how to, you know get onto my computer and edit it. So if you guys have any suggestions for PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 games, just go right ahead and suggest it. I will try and make money and I will try and buy the games and I would try and, you know, make an LP. Okay. Bye. See you guys.